What's up, everyone? This is David, a.k.a. Reverse Long, and today I got Donnie Hensley on the podcast. Donnie is a, a VP at Guardian, and uh, yeah, we I recently went to New York uh, to go visit their offices. Donnie invited me, and we, we went fishing and got a stock exchange tour man it was it was it was pretty sick man it's a memorable experience and donnie had even a memorable experience as well we're going to talk about that later um for sure yeah so so donnie what's up how's it going it's going good man it's going good it's like cold in new england right now like i see you in a t-shirt it's it's well oh, yeah. <laughs> out of t-shirt weather at this point you know so like um yeah it's getting to that part of the year where like you know, the market closes at four and then like it starts getting dark right around like four thirty, four, you know, four forty five, right? So so we're we're getting ready to hunker down out here. But um, you know, other than that, man, I mean everything's going great, you know. How about you? Great, man. You know, um I I, I forget that it, it gets cold in other places. You know, everywhere I go, it's it's I'm from Miami originally, so it's warm there. Now I'm in LA, I was in Puerto Rico. Everywhere is warm where I go. So like I forget that. People actually wear jackets and sweaters and stuff. But uh... no, for sure, you get the four <laughs> the four seasons out here. We like them. You know, I can understand where most people would think it's kind of a drag, but you know, they have um, they all have their quirks. Like where I live, we're probably well, shoot, I mean, I'm like a half hour, not even like twenty minutes from a local ski mountain. Um, you know, we got as you know, lakes, right, river, the sound. Um, so it's kind of like, it can be, I mean, it's not as, it's not as like, I wouldn't say it's as outdoorsy as say like Montana or even Georgia. Right. But, um, you know, it's, it's still kind of cool to get, to get all of them, but it's just, it's a little bit of a shock, man. You know, like when you got to start putting a jacket on and all that, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, but we enjoy it for sure. Absolutely, man. All right, Donnie. So check it out. So, um, when you, when I was there, you explained to me, uh, about like velocity clearing and, and velocity and guardian. So I don't, maybe you want to give a background on velocity and how it started. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very humbled to be with the folks at velocity. Uh, I, I really am, you know, they could have, um, they could have gotten a lot of different guys to do sales with them. I'm, 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 you know, I'm flattered that I measured up to their, uh, to their expectations. You know, they, they started as, um, you know, I mean, they're a clearing firm right now. So they specialize in uh, stock loan, stock borrow. Um, they had, uh, they started off as a locate service actually with, you know, just a handful of employees. Uh, and they were just providing locates to different brokers and in the direct access space and prop firms as well. Um, you know, they're financed through uh, venture capital. Uh, they got, uh, some money to, you know, open and clearing and, 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 and a locate business. And really what they wanted to do with guardian was more of the custom tailored solutions for a lot of the retail traders that are out there. Um, it's basically allowing them to come directly to, to the source for the locates. We don't do third party locates. Uh, I, I know that there are some broker dealers that do, we don't. Um, and you know what, our, our headquarters is in the heart of it all, right? I mean, you've been there 199 water, you know, it's right in the financial district. Um, we have a support team in, in New Jersey. We have a satellite office in Boca Raton in Dallas and in Northern California, also in Westchester County, New York. So you could check all that out at, at, at velocityclearing.io or, um, you know, guardiantrading.com. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, what else does, uh, Velocity do? So, well, Guardian, uh, as you know, is a division of Velocity Clearing. Um, they've got a lot of other departments that Guardian clients can utilize and, 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 and grow with. I think that it could be fair to state that retail traders have, have they, they want to get to the guys that are just starting off on some of the free platforms. They, they want to get to where a lot of your audience members are, right? They, they wanna to get to that professional retail trader status. And then we like to think of ourselves as being able to facilitate those very same traders um, in their graduation from retail, right? So we have, um, as you know, Guardian Trading, right? But we've got um, portfolio margin available. We've got prime brokerage, clearing and execution. So should you be one of those retail traders that, 
decides to, hey, you know what, I'm going to start a fund one day, we can help you, right? Should you be, um, you know, uh, a broker dealer that says, hey, we want to have a proprietary trading element to us, we can help you with clearing execution, whatever. We run the gamut of uh, uh, of what individuals can do. And by the way, Dave, I, I have to say this, you know, trading is inherently risky, especially now. You've seen the market and what's going on this year. It's 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 kind of crazy. Right. So so there's what used to be a possibility is now a better than average chance of you losing money. Uh, so if you are going to participate in, in day trading, um, if you're going to start it, really do that risk analysis on yourself really do that uh, due diligence on yourself and make sure that trading is right for you I, i'd hate to have uh one of one of your listeners that really wants to be a day trader you know maybe listen to some of the other guys or some other stuff and and then they get this idea that trading is easy i think you know firsthand trading's not easy right we don't the, people only win all the time on twitter right like that's the only spot where where people where people are right 100 percent of the time um i say that jovially but in all honesty you know like do your due diligence um that said guardians here for you for sure awesome and uh so why should clients choose guardian trading i mean the the services are designed to be self-directed right so we don't we don't offer advice or or anything else um, we try to make our locates as compelling as an offering as we can. We're also um, developing a suite of, of solutions for options traders, uh, you know, where we, we really just try to make pricing as compelling as we, we can for the trade. We get that trading is not easy. We want your business. But really, uh, it's all about the custom tailor fit. You know, we're not... Um, you know, we're, we're, we're not like a Brooks Brothers or a men's warehouse type of shop. You know what I mean? Where like, you know, a handful of people are either these sizes or that sizes. Come to us. Come to our chat. Tell us, you know, hey, we need this. We need that. You know, let's 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 make a solution for you. And, and, and I think that's one of the things that that a lot of people find really compelling about Guardian for sure. Awesome. And uh, OK, so what what is the best platform out there? OK, let's say, you know, you got Guardian up and running now like what platforms uh do people choose from yeah you know i get that i get that a lot um i suppose the best platform that's out there is really the platform that works for the trader okay um i know that dos has been around for a while so we offer that uh you know dos being direct access software we also offer uh, Sterling Trader Tech. There are some people that come to us from different platforms, or excuse me, different um, proprietary trading shops, and they ran Sterling back in the day, so they run Sterling with us now. We also offer Tachyon, which is the guy that created Tachyon is arguably um, one of the one of the smartest guys that that I've ever shook hands with. Um, really cool guy. He's from New Jersey. He had a bunch of developers basically make tachyon for him but but tachyon is really advanced dave you know like it's it's not like it's not one of those things where you can just kind of plug and play like you really got to take your time with it so i would say that we offer those three on the option side uh, we're exploring uh offering silex we want to be able to give you guys the tools that you need to succeed so um you know and platforms are going in a really a really interesting direction but I would say ultimately it's it's really what works for for the trader, you know, what works for them. Gotcha. So Tachyon. So is it's just a different interface, like a different software, just like like when I when I saw it, um, you know what it was you you the plugins that he had for it were pretty impressive. And then also the customization that you could do within the platform was pretty impressive and by the way that was um that was when i was at uh when i was when i was at another brokerage firm uh about three or four years ago was when i first got to see it like the for the first time you know so i mean um it, it, you know it's really cool not a lot of people know about it you, you kind of had to have grown up on it and even if you come to me and you ask us for it now you know, we're going to ask you, hey, you know, have you using it before? Where'd you get it from? 
Um, but it's it's really incredible. And the people that we have that are on it are fiercely, fiercely loyal to it. So, um, you know, yeah, that's that's tacky on in a in a handful of words. Pretty cool. Gotcha. Yeah, I got to check it out because yeah, I haven't heard about it until you brought it up. So, yeah, yeah I'll check it out. Um, all right. So about about the visit, the juicy stuff. So the visit to NYSC. So, yeah, you invited me to NYSC. I flew a uh, flew in there. We went over there. Man, I, that's incredible. So, so the NYSC, like you know, if you have a Guardian account, you just uh, hit Donnie up, and you know, he might come through at a certain point. Or how does? <laughs> I mean, I, I uh, well, first of all, um, first of all, it's so funny because I, I try to talk to as many people as I can, and sometimes that becomes kind of confusing. So, like, I remember when we first spoke. Uh, I didn't even I didn't I didn't know that you were you until Ramirez was on your show. Yeah, and then I was right. like, oh, that's Dave. And he because I, I said, I said, man, he's cool. Like, I, I'd love to talk to him. And he was the one that said he was like, he was like, he called you. And then I said, oh, that's, Dave. you know, so I mean, it was it was one of those things. But yeah, I mean, when I when I feel like that's something that you know, every person should get the chance to experience that when you go down there, you know, they'll be the first ones to tell you that, man, you know, it's not what it used to be, you know, in the nineties, it was crazier, right? Like everything is, in, is, is automated now, but, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. You know, that we, we, we had a good time that day for sure. Yeah. We went during veterans day and uh, the joint chief of staff, uh, we met some generals and the joint chief, chief of staff. I, I just found out about it. I didn't know there was this thing called coining. You were, you're a veteran, so you knew about this coining thing. And the sergeant, the joint chief of staffs coined you on the spot. Yeah, so that, so that goes back. So the history, at least what I was told, the history is um, you, you had these enlisted. The, so there's two types of soldiers. Um, um, at least in the American Armed Forces, right? At, and 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 you have um, enlisted, which is you, when you hear the term um, specialist or sergeant or staff sergeant, sergeant major. You know that those would really be terms that are associated or rank that is associated with enlisted. When you get to like lieutenant, captain, major, th those are, are are ranks that are associated with being an officer. So it's really like two different sides. And and the, and the way that it was explained to me was the officers back in the day were in charge of the money, right? So if a sergeant did something that was like above and beyond, the officer was impressed. He you know he'd he'd, he'd flip them a coin, right? Um, over the years, officers have minted their own coins. Um, and they give them out for, you know, for merit. I have, a, I have a few upstairs for some things that I've done. I keep them in what's called a little coin case, you know. Um, but but yeah, so so um, it's really fun. Like, I remember actually uh, this is really funny. Like when I was in basic training, they put you through um, uh, CX gas training, which is like if you've ever seen whatever you, you, you go in, they smoke up a room and then you take off your gas mask and they let you get used to you know, the CX gas, um, it's not anything that's going to really hurt you, you know? So they make you say like your name, they make you say like, you know, they want to make sure you're not holding your breath so you can experience it. And then they run you outside. Um, and there was this one kid, I'll never forget his name. His name was Flores. He was from Anaheim, California. And he, um, this dude sang the army song, which was like incredible. And the, um, the lieutenant that was there was like, are you kidding me? And coined him on the spot, coined him in basic training, like on the spot. It was pretty wild. So um, that was like the first time I really saw it. So, yeah. So, so yeah. So the, 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 the it was Veterans Day. I didn't even know they were doing something for Veterans Day that day. We just happened to be there. And um, uh, I got to talk into that guy who was um, an, an admiral. Like he was, he worked for um, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and and I said, you know, I'd love to shake his hand. Remember, we tried to get his picture. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And uh, he just kind of like gave us the Heisman on that one. But um, I made mention. Um, I said, yeah, you know, like I was in the National Guard for a bit. And he um, gave me the coin on the spot, which was which was really cool. You know, it was re really neat. So I have it upstairs in my case. Um, you know, that was like 
uh, unbelievable that experience. I mean, it was like, you know, it's yeah. um, one for the books for sure. Uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome getting there to experience it and, and learning about all this because, like, it was a secret handshake. He put his, the coin in the. In, I would have never known what he did or like what you guys exchanged. He put it like in the in his hand. He handed it off to you. When you see the coin, I took a photo of the coin. It's like a really nice coin, you know. So like this whole secret uh, <laughs> thing to exchange that happened because no one, you know what I mean? It's like it's like a fraternity kind of thing. Um, it was big. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. And then you explained to me the sergeant chief, you know, the, the joint chief of staff is like in charge of, like, say there's, God forbid, is a world war or something. He's like General Patton. Like, he's controlling, he's in charge of all the military, like, in the whole of the of the allied forces. So that would be, um, well, he's definitely a four-star. So my, my memory is a little hazy, but the five-star would be when you hear, like, of generals, like, um uh oh gosh um his name is at the tip of my tongue he had the corn cob pipe but um but essentially um he was in charge like if, if if there's a world war he's in charge of all of the allied forces that would be a five star um you know i met a four star which which is still uh, you know absolutely yeah. incredible i mean he's but he's like the guy you know he's He's it. So it was definitely really, uh, definitely really, really incredible for sure. Oh, and then another another thing you pointed out is like whenever you can outrank another soldier, another person, another veteran in the military, when they point, pull out their coins, you have the coin that tops all the other coins because you got it from the, the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. So so that's a, that's like a soldier thing. So like if you if you're I mean, the way that it used to work, I don't even know they do this anymore, but the way that it used to work was if you go to a bar or whatever you know everybody goes in their pocket and rips out a coin and like if my coin is from a lieutenant but your coin is from a captain captain outranks the lieutenant i would buy that round you know um so the way i see it is yeah man with this one i don't think i'm paying for another drink again that's the highest <laughs> rank <laughs> you know yeah you I got mean? the highest yeah. one like the, the, yeah <laughs> crazy Absolutely. Um, and then, okay. So then we went fishing. You took me fishing, uh, the next day. It was a s Saturday or Friday. I forgot. I think it was Friday. No, um, it was a fr I think it was a Friday. It yeah. was a market day. Yeah. Yeah. So I hadn't been fishing since I was a kid, you know? So, and especially it was, it wasn't, it was in Florida. And like when I went fishing, it was like in a canal <laughs> in Miami, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. It was a, it, it, you took me like legit fishing and like we were in a boat and like, I don't know what it was, but there was a ton of fish, man. We were catching fish left and right. Um, yeah, it was nuts. Is that, is that like normal <laughs> to catch I all mean, those dude, fish? So first of all, like, first of all, you're kind of blowing up my spot because the head of Guardian is going to review this. And he's gonna be like, oh, Hensley was fishing during a market day. So thanks for that. Um, oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you know what, man? I got to be honest with you, um, not to get too carried away uh but i i i find a lot of similarities with what i do and with fishing you know um you know you you, you know if you want clients to come to you 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 have to have an offering that's compelling right so i equate that to baiting a hook you know um if you want the right types of clients to come to you you have to be in uh the right you know canal or lake or river or stream or part of the ocean um you know and 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 that's that's really what i do man you know i i do it to unwind i i, I don't I, I mean i do it to unwind but also i do it to like learn a little bit about myself so i'll take as many people fishing with me as i can i'd go every day if i could you know but we were um we were yeah so we were so basically what happens is the striped bass, they come in and then they spawn in that type of the river, in that part of the river um, when the water's really cold. And then right after, you know, kind of like winter time, they'll shoot back out into the ocean and and go from there. So we had, um, yeah, we caught like 15 striped bass that day. That was, I love it. It was a lot, it was so yeah. Fun. Yeah, a lot. hell yeah. Um, yeah you are explaining to me, so it's like, it's the, the oh it's it's fresh water or salt water it was like the, yeah, it was fresh. like the it's, middle yeah it's the mouth of the river so it's yeah. like it's like fresh water yeah sure sure so um but striped bass are a saltwater fish 
that go into spawn in the fresh water, you know, in the fresh water that's there. Really cool. I mean, I love it. I go as much as I, I'm actually going, um, in two weeks, I'm going up on the border of, um, Vermont and New Hampshire and I'm going to go ice fishing, you know? Oh, ice so, fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, um, pretty wild. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I just, I started doing it a long time ago. I really liked it. And then that's it. So I stuck with it. It was fun. Gotcha. So, so Donnie, yeah. So to wrap it up. Um, so like, how can people get a hold of you or like, what, what do you have in mind? Um, or how if someone wanted to start with guarding, you guys do options now. So now options, stocks. Uh, yeah. How can they find out more about guardian and get started? Guardian. Let me tell you something. We're always trying to evolve. We're always trying to be better. Um, we we have an option solution that's pretty compelling. As I said, we're going to be offering Silex pretty soon. We've also got this new thing uh, called VHub, which essentially is a universal hub for fixed lines. So if you're going to be trading, uh, say, your own algo, um, if you're going to be trading your own API, you can pipe directly into the fix hub and we can get that squared away for you. Um, you know, it's a really, really cool thing. It's almost like a universal key to the city. And by the way, you can use that on Bloomberg itself. So like you can trade directly from Bloomberg on that. So, you know, if you're if you're a retail trader, you maybe you don't know what the Bloomberg terminal is. But if you're an institutional guy, I guarantee you know what the Bloomberg terminal is. Um, very robust platform. Uh, and we're able to facilitate that. Right. So. So, uh, yeah, in term, and I think I said with 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 options, we're going to be offering Silex, which is the old uh, CBOE um, platform. So there's a lot of great things on the horizon. And if you want to reach out to me, I mean, I guess the best way to do it is just go to the um, the website, you know, guardiantrading.com, um, open up the chat and just ask whoever's there to speak with me. Um, you know, I don't know, like I'm a phone guy, you know, I don't really... I mean, I guess you could say like I'm fishing so much. I don't I don't check email. Right. There's a joke in there somewhere. Um, but in all seriousness, just give me a call. 732-847-4728. Um, and I'll be more than happy to, you know, kind of walk you through what we can do, what we can't do um, and, 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 and give you a better perspective on what it is that you're looking for, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll have all that in the notes. I know the notes get overlooked a lot of times, but I make my notes pretty impeccable. So, yeah, check the notes and uh, I'll have all that on there. Well, Not Donnie, man. yeah. Well, Donnie, thanks a lot for for coming on the podcast, and thanks so much for giving me a a tour of the NYSC and the fishing trip. I'll always remember that, man. That's pretty sick. Um, oh, that's solid. Yeah, Thank you for yeah. having me on, man. This is Absolutely. really cool. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, what you're doing man. here is really cool. I'm a big fan, bro. Thanks again. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. I appreciate it, Donnie. All right, I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.